purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to add animation in your Flash document with photos and text. We'll start by opening a Flash document, ActionScript 3.0. The default size is 550 pixels by 400 pixels, and you can see that in the Properties Inspector right here. Uh, 550 by 400. If you wanted to change the size of the document you could do that by editing and clicking this button. We're going to leave it at the default and I am going to import some pictures for my new flash document. So I will go to the file menu and I will click import import to library. You want to import to library if you have more than one picture that you're going to import. So I click that button and I will find the folder where I stored them. It's called Flash Tutorial. And I will click on the first one. And then I will hold down my command key and I will click on the other pictures that I want. In this case, there are three of them. And I will click Import to Library. They do not show up on the stage, but they are in the library and you can see them right here. So if I want to bring the first picture out, I just click on it and I drag it to the stage. And there it is. So on my stage, I now have a picture of an angry bird and it is on layer one, frame one. I'm going to rename this layer to indicate that it is Angry Bird number one. And then I will click on the picture. And because I need these pictures to be symbols so I can animate them, I am going to go up to my Modify menu and I'm going to Convert to Symbol. The Convert to Symbol box opens and I'm going to leave it as the movie clip type and I'm going to give it a title Angry Bird 1 and I will leave my registration point in the center here. It really doesn't matter where the registration point is for this tutorial but if you wanted to change it you would just click on the button where you want the registration point to be and that will that's where it would rotate if you were rotating. So I'll click OK and I now have a symbol called Angry Bird 1 and you can see that in the Properties Inspector it's called Instance of Angry Bird 1. OK. Now I want to add some time to my timeline. I've already determined that this video or animation is going to last about three seconds. So I'm going to make it go to frame 75. So I'll click in frame 75 and at that point I am going to insert a frame. So if I right click I can do insert frame and it now shows that I have frames all the way up to 75. I want to animate the entrance of my Angry Bird and I want that entrance to last about half a second. So since this is a 24 frame per second movie I will click on frame 12 which is half of 24 and at that point I will insert a keyframe. It has to be a keyframe in order to change the action. So I will right click I will right click and I will insert a keyframe. Okay, I've added uh, two keyframes and I have my Angry Bird here and the Angry Bird is the only thing on the stage at this point. So I'm going to go to frame one. This is where I want to start the animation and I click on frame one and then I click on the Angry Bird. And I have now expanded my 
properties inspector so I can see that I have something here called color effect the color effect that I want is alpha so I will click on this um, down arrow and I will choose alpha and I want to totally fade out my angry bird so I'm going to drag my alpha slider all the way to zero and the angry bird is disappeared here then I will click in between the two keyframes here between 1 and 10 and I will right click and I will insert a or create a classic tween now what's going to happen here is that the bird will go from invisible to visible and if I play the movie I press command return or enter and there is my movie and it will repeat and it will play that movie over and over again so it goes from zero transparency to 100% transparency